Hi, I'm Dr. Bennett Brown, a hand and upper extremity specialist here at the Orlin and Cohen Orthopedic Group. Today I would like to talk about thumb arthritis. The base of the thumb, also known as the basal joint or thumb CMC joint, is the most common location for arthritis in the entire upper extremity, not just the hand, and therefore it is one of the more common diagnoses that I see in the office. This particular joint is responsible for the extremely variable range of motion of the thumb. It allows the thumb to oppose the other fingers as well as pinch objects, basically perform many functions that people don't even think about. And as with the other joints, continued overuse causes cartilage breakdown and arthritis. There are three predominant reasons why some people are more prone to this than others. First, previous injury to the thumb, such as sprain, fracture, or damage to the articular cartilage. Second, postmenopausal women have a higher incidence of basal joint arthritis due to decreased estrogen levels. Incidence in women is about three times more than that of men. But men, especially those who have done manual labor for most of their lives, are also prone to this type of arthritis. Third, heavier patients tend to develop this type of arthritis as well. This is most likely due to the increased force placed across the joint. The most common symptom is pain. Pain that is localized to the thumb, especially at the meaty, fleshy area at the base. The pain interferes with activities of daily living and is often disabling. Patients will also complain of decreased thumb range of motion as well as a deformity of the thumb, usually a bump at the base. I typically use conservative or non-surgical methods as first-line treatments. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as ibuprofen, if the patient can tolerate, can be very effective at decreasing joint inflammation. I also have my patients evaluated by a certified hand therapist for multiple reasons. The hand therapist is able to make a custom removable brace for the thumb. This will allow the thumb to rest, decrease pain, and prevent further deformity. The therapist will also teach the patient techniques to control the symptoms during everyday life. Lastly, the therapist will perform range of motion exercises as well as use modalities such as ultrasound, warm and cold, paraffin, and other techniques to decrease inflammation at the joint. Steroid injections also help reduce pain in patients with basal joint arthritis. These are especially helpful in patients with mild to moderate arthritis. The effects can be long lasting, but are usually temporary and last somewhere between three to six months. The main indication for surgery is pain that is not relieved by non-surgical treatments. There is no immediacy to when I need to perform surgery, and I typically try as much conservative treatment as my patients let me. The surgery takes about an hour and a half to do, is an outpatient procedure, and is extremely successful with regard to pain relief. The surgery involves removing the arthritic bone at the base of the thumb, then using a spare tendon from the forearm to first reconstruct the thumb ligament, and then place the remaining tendon in the space vacated by the arthritic bone. This provides the thumb with stability as well as a soft, new, and more painless joint surface. For more information about thumb arthritis, please visit the patient education section of our website, orlincohen.com. For an appointment to see me about this or any other hand or upper extremity problems, or to see any of our highly qualified subspecialists, please call our office or visit us on the web.